Yo, what's up guys, your boy Killjoy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take the A site as a terrorist on the map D underscore Mirage. I'm going to be showing you a sort of setup that you can use for five people, which obviously you can, um, you know, play around with if you only have two, three, or four people who are, you know, communicating and know that how to do everything. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to follow, it's pretty simple. All it really requires is, um, three players playing in this bottom area, the sort of like T stairs, T T ramp, I guess, T connector, I don't know, whatever you want to call this area. And then two people coming from the palace area. You're going to need to know three smokes, a Molotov, and a flash, basically. It's pretty easy, everyone has to do one thing. And, um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, the first smoke you're going to be doing, well, I'll show you where all the smokes are going to land. One of them is going to be a sh um, stair smoke, which will land roughly right there. One will be a you know, sort of like jungle smoke, which will land in the center there. That was a really bad throw by me. And then one of them should land roughly on the steps by there. So you have all this area, which is cut off from, you know, any rotations. And bang, you just have the site to worry about. So I'll show you them first. The first one is going to be the, um, the stair smoke. This one I, I often do because it's just pretty easy. Line yourself up right in the center of here, give or take. And then you see this sort of like, you know, area by here. You're going to aim roughly at the center and throw it. And this should be pretty consistent. Um, it works every time for me. Bounces off there, bounces onto there. It looks like it's not going to make it, but it basically always does. It smokes it off really well. They can't see around any of the corners. It's perfect. So now I'm going to show you the, um, the jungle smoke. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, but not really. And line yourself if, um, up with this center piece by here, just like that. Grab your smoke, and you see this weird sort of like piece, but I don't know what to call this, sort of like rock by here. You're going to sort of want to look at this bottom corner here, and line up with this weird line by there. I don't know how to describe this, so I'll just fly over and show you. There's like this weird rectangular piece by there. Sort of, it's 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 a bit weird. Um, but you sort of got to want to line yourself up with there and that bottom corner like so. Then just throw your smoke. You don't need to do a run, a jump, or anything. Bounces off like that and lands right in the center. They can't peek you around this side here really, nor can they peek you around this side to be honest. So lands as central as you can do it, and it really blocks off the area really well. Now the last smoke is going to be the the um the CT spawn smoke. This one's a bit more awkward. Um, you're going to want to come over to this this you know this door by here and line yourself up by there. And then you're going to want to go between these two by here and uh, between these two by there. Just go by there and you want to do a little run and throw. And this should just keep bouncing over until it gets to the T spawn by here. And it blocks it off kind of well, they can't peek around the side there, can't peek around that side there, and that should generally work. Um, yeah, there's obviously a couple different smokes you can do for each of these spots, but these are just the ones which I'm going to talk about, because they're pretty easy to follow and remember. So, when you have all those three smokes down, all you have to worry about is the middle of the site. And um, for this, you're going to have your two players up in here. One of them is going to push out to this corner by here, maybe after you've thrown down that um, stair smoke, cause in case there's an AWPer. But you're going to go over to this corner, have a molly at hand, and you're going to smoke off this ninja area here, which a lot of people often go into, and it's really hard to get them out. So you're going to go into this corner, and look, there's like this little rectangle on the floor. Aim at this bottom corner, and just throw your Molotov. It'll land in there all the, every time, and they're standing by there, they might get mollied, you know. It'll spread and bang. They have to push out of there. You can't really do much. And then the last player, the, the ve a very important player still, is going to have a flash. It's going to line up with this sort of corner by here. Give or take. It's not very, you know, it can be a bit in inaccurate. And just look at this, um, like this big line on the wall there and a line that comes across with the little white patch there and another bigger one there. You're going to line yourself up with that white patch on the, on the left. Throw it out, and then bang, smoke, flash will come out, it'll pop right by here. They're playing in that cubby by there, they'll get flashed. There, there, everywhere, they'll be flashed. So, really good flash, and the way I'd recommend you guys play it is, you could even, after someone, maybe this guy throws his smoke, you can just throw a flash over the top, like, like so. 
and bang, flashes the entire site. They're not really ready for it. Um, what you do, you get everyone lined up for their smoke, and you say, well, look at the time on mine, you say, throw it at 3 minutes 40, you'd wait, you'd wait, you'd wait, bang, you'd throw it at you know, 35 minutes 40, or whatever time you guys decide, wait for the smokes to pop fl to pop first, have your teammate, then run, because this is really easy, just run into the corner, aim there, and bang, molly that, have your teammate flash at the same time as he's throwing that, and then you push, once all the smokes are down, once the molly is down, and once the flashes have been used, you can easily push the site, plant anywhere you really want, because they can't contest you from them two, or CT, just have to worry about, um, you know, ninja, so when your players are coming out of here, check this corner, because sometimes you'll have players there. Sort of check the side, they could be on the side of the boxes, they could be in the corner. And if there's a molly, the guy from here is just going to run out because he'll be scared. Then you can pretty easily just take him off from Tetris. And just watch about Sandwich, and then, yeah, you can just plant basically in the middle of the site, because no one else is going to be on here. So, that's just a little way to take off, take the A site. Um, it's pretty good if you have... A full five man and you can coordinate the timings and stuff, you may want to practice it first. Um, but yeah, once you guys get it, you know, working consistently, then it should be pretty easy for you to take the A site most times. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I actually had no internet so I didn't know what to do and I thought, well, I'll just do a, a little tutorial on how to take the A site, um, you know, with a little bit of tactic involved. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below as always, and subscribe for my daily content. I'm your boy Kyodre, and I'm out guys. Peace. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No, no. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck oh just God. happened, but I don't really care. I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs>